We have instruments that are located on the tower and soil sensors that will be located within the soil arrays. We also have sensors that are going to be located in the aquatic systems. In lakes, there will be buoys that have different kinds of sensors. and streams, there will be other ways that we can get sensors into those systems. These are going to be taking automated measurements throughout the course of each NEON site. We then have two different kinds of observational systems. The terrestrial observation system will collect data on biogeochemical cycles, infectious diseases, and a suite of focal taxa to characterize local patterns, dynamics, and linkages in terrestrial ecosystems. These taxa were designed to be widespread, capture a wide range of turnover time, and diverse evolutionary histories. Similarly, for the aquatic observational system, we have a suite of aquatic taxa as well as biogeochemistry and ecohydrology that will allow us to measure changes in those different taxa and in the pools and fluxes of nutrients and carbon that we see at these sites in order to get a full characterization of those aquatic systems. And as I mentioned, we have an airborne unit that will fly over every site each year over peak phenology. The different kinds of observations that the sensors on this plane make allow us to provide scaling with the kinds of observations that the terrestrial observation system take. We're able to take the ground truth data and the detailed data on sand structure and chemistry and then scale that up to the site level and then eventually our hope is then to utilize these kinds of scaling algorithms to gain a better understanding of what's happening over the domain and continental scale itself. And this is, again, getting to the general strategy of NEON, where we're utilizing observations made on short time frames and on smaller spatial scales by both the sensors and by the field operations crews to then combine that with the data that's being taken by our airborne unit and then with other data sets that are available in the community, such as data that's collected on satellites, to create a full look at what's happening on the continent and the kinds of changes that are happening to ecosystems on this continental scale.